Hello everyone, welcome back to Mama in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make melchia. So I'm going to start off by showing you the ingredients. First, you're going to need two packs of frozen minced melchia. I got this at my local Middle Eastern store. And then you're going to need two tablespoons of chopped cilantro, half a tablespoon of cumin, and then you're also going to need about three cubes of chicken flavor maggi, six garlic cloves, and one medium yellow onion. And then you're also going to need two tablespoons of olive oil. And over here, I have four chicken leg quarters. And now we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to be doing is in a pot, you're going to add the four chicken leg quarters and about six cups of water. So for each pack of frozen melchia, you're going to need three cups of water. And then you're going to be adding half a tablespoon of cumin and you're only going to add this to the surface. You're not going to be mixing it in. And then you're going to bring the water and chicken to a boil. After about 10 minutes of boiling, this is what it's going to look like. And you're going to be removing the top foamy layer. And this is what it should look like after removing the foamy layer. And after removing the foamy layer, you're gonna go ahead and add your onion. So you're gonna slice it like this. You're not gonna slice it all the way through and just place the whole onion in there and continue to boil the chicken. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes after adding the onion and now the chicken is cooked. So you're gonna be removing the onion and then we're gonna be adding the magic cubes. After removing the onion, you're going to be adding the three cubes of chicken flavor maggi. And after adding the maggi, you're going to go ahead and add the frozen melchia. So you're just going to drop it into the pot and wait for it to melt. Make sure you do not cover your pot because the melchia color will turn very dark. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since I've added the frozen melchia, and this is what it will look like after it melts. And now I'm going to go ahead and add three large minced garlic cloves, and you're just going to mix it in. After adding the three minced garlic cloves to the melchia, I went ahead and preheated the two tablespoons of olive oil and I cut up the remainder of the three garlic cloves and I'm going to be frying them until they're a golden color. Once the garlic looks like this, you're going to be adding the two tablespoons of chopped cilantro and you're just going to mix it in for a few seconds. After mixing in the cilantro, you're just going to go ahead and add the garlic and cilantro and olive oil into the melchia like this. After adding the garlic, cilantro, and olive oil, now the melchia is ready to serve. This is how thick you want it to be, and if you like it a little thinner, you can also add some water. And I'm also going to be serving it with a side dish of baked chicken. I just like to make extra baked chicken just in case somebody doesn't like the boiled chicken in the melchia. And I'm also going to be serving it with jasmine rice, which I also have a video for, and I'll be leaving the link down below for the jasmine rice. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.